Hey there, today we're going to be doing a little bit more advanced synfig tutorial. I'm going to be going over with you how I did this dump truck animation. I've got a new microphone for this tutorial, so please bear with me for this one. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have all of the steps for my animation pretty much completed. So we're just going to walk through each piece of the animation and sort of rebuild it. I've got some portions of it turned off. So we're going to go through it. We'll start by looking at the pieces of the truck. I created all the shapes for the truck using the beeline and circle tool and just drawing them out as I needed them. Inside each encapsulation you can see the shapes that I used to create the truck. Here's the axle with its region beeline and outline and the rear tire with its region circle and outline. Close these back up. On the box of the truck I have a rotate layer also and I'll be using this to rotate the box up for it to dump the dirt and in the cab I ha also have a rotate layer here and you can see that I have a time loop layer. This will later be used to make the truck look like its engine is running. Right now I have these time loops and rotation layers turned off. So first just draw in the shapes that it takes to create the truck and encapsulate them. Similarly to this here. I have the dirt turned off and I have all rotate layers turned off on my truck. So at this point You'll take it into editing mode, and then you'll drag your truck outside the picture on frame zero. Now I already have this done. And then you'll drag it into the frame two seconds in. And then you'll drag it back out of the frame at five seconds. And we'll want it to stay stopped for a couple seconds in between. So we'll need to add a stop point right about here. You can see the waypoints I've used for my truck here on my timeline. First one here at zero, the next one at two seconds, the next one at four seconds, six frames, the last one at five seconds. You'll want to change this waypoint here so that it comes in easily, easy in. This will cause the truck to slow down as it's coming to a stop. On this waypoint here, we'll want to set constant in and ease out. This way it should pull off slowly. And we can set this to constant also. These down here, we'll get to that later. These actually represent other encapsulations in the truck and we'll be editing them separately. So let's see our truck animation as it should be now. Rewind to zero frames and press play. Okay, so that's it. It just pulls in, it stops for a bit, and then takes off again. That's all our truck does for right now, and that should be simple enough. Now I want to simulate the dumping motion of the box. So I open up the box. Here I have my rotation layer. If you don't know how to add a rotation layer, just right click, go to new layer, transform, rotate. And that will add a, a rotation layer for you. So I'm gonna turn this on. Okay. And here you can see the amount of rotation. I've already set it here at about two seconds and a few other places here. Um, I'm going to have the rotation lift the bed up and then stop and then lift the bed back down and that's all. So let's rewind the animation and play it. Stop, lift the bed up, set the bed down and continue. Okay, if I wanted to lift the bed higher, I'll go to the time frame and pull the lever here as high as I want to lift the bed up. And waypoints are created just as soon as you move something on the canvas so long as you are in animating mode. I'm gonna undo that. Alright now let's take care of the cab. 
Now on this one I have a rotate and a time loop. Let's turn the rotate on. Adjust the cab for the first half a second of the animation. Let's see how it looks here. You can just barely see it, but the cab in the first couple of frames tilts down and then it tilts back up. And that's really all I need for a time loop. Now let me go back to the start. I'm going to turn the time loop on. Now my parameters for the time loop is that it's linked at time 0, local time 0, and duration 12 frames, which is half a second. The time loop will repeat any changes that occur in the cab encapsulation within the first half second. So when we press play now, we should see this, the cab moving up and down. That looked pretty crappy, <laughs> but it'll look a lot clearer in the final animation. So I close up the cab encapsulation and the truck encapsulation. I'm finished with all of that. Now I just need the dirt. Here I have the dirt and a blur on the dirt. I'm going to turn my dirt layer on so you can see it. And there it has appeared. Now I have the dirt separate from the truck. This is necessary for the truck to be able to drive off without the dirt. I have a blur layer on the dirt so that it looks more dirt-like and it pours out without looking like a blob of jelly. So I'm going to go back to frame 0 and show you about the dirt. As I bring the truck into the animation, you can see that the dirt is behind the box of the truck here. Temporarily, you can move the dirt above the truck layer. This way you can see the dirt as it's coming in and how it should be hiding behind the box. Here on the timeline, you can see the animations that I used to form the dirt. Primarily here at 2 seconds, I used the waypoints here to begin pouring the dirt. Here and here. To get the dirt to follow the truck, I simply selected the dirt encapsulation and moved it along with the truck from frame 0 to 2 seconds in. And from that point, it was just a matter of dumping the dirt out and leaving it there. Alright, and I covered a lot of pretty deep concepts on this animation, so I really hope that helped inspire some of you animators out there. Continue having fun and experimenting with Synfig. And I'll see you next time on penguintutorials.com.